Gaia. This is a brand new tool. Um, some people in the room may have, may have seen a sneak preview of this a few weeks ago. Um, what Gaia does is bridges a gap between a very early concept stage and the detailed design that we're able to do with the Pro Tools. How does it work? The key is to take the power of what the virtual environment can do and put it into workflows, or navigators as we're calling them, to take you through the process of doing an analysis from A to B. People that use performance software sit in kind of two camps as I see it. to the specialists, the people in this room, the people who use it a lot, all of the time. You get familiar with the software, you come to hopefully love the piece of software that you've got. But you know it inside out, you know where every button is, you know how to use it. There's another bunch of people that are starting to get involved in more and more and more. It's people that don't do this all the time. It's tough to come back to a complicated because it needs to be tool to help you with sustainable assessments. So we were looking to try and bridge that gap. These workflows take you from A to B through the software. You work your way down the list. If you don't know how to set the climate location and weather data, it's far better to have a little line that says, let's just go there and find that out. It's also a QA tool as well. Um, you can click to say you've done the thing that you've done. You write a little note to the other people in the design team to say, well, I've chosen this, but I wasn't really sure about it. Uh, what do you think? The model then itself becomes a portal for the information for the project as you work through the process. We have a few of these navigators, and I'll just step through a couple of them. There's the setting up of the geometry, if you're doing it in our software, or if you uh, have shared it with SketchUp or Revit or bought it in a GBXML file. There's the setting up of data or editing the data. You will all know geometry is only half of the battle when you come in to do building performance assessment. The data that goes with it is the second half, and getting that right and getting it consistent is important. We then have a series of navigators to aid you for, through those early stage uh, understandings. Um, we've got natural resources where we, where we describe the wind potential, the solar potential, the rainwater potential, and whether your building can take advantage of the local climate. We have building metrics that describe graphically what the dominant load on the building is. This is an internally uh, dominated building in terms of its gains. Is solar gain the, the most important thing? What's the proportion of glazing like? Is it south-facing glazing in the northern hemisphere? Do I really want that? It puts language and graphical descriptions of the building in a form at the early stage that you can make key and, uh, decisions about your project. We show the climate and we explain the climate. We don't uh, uh, put up a table with a series of numbers in it. We put English language uh, to, to describe the climate. You'll see on the thing there I've got um, Abu Dhabi. It describes the climate to me. Perhaps we all know what Abu Dhabi is like. But do you know what it's like in Kazakhstan? Don't know. If you're designing the building there, wouldn't you like to know? Wouldn't you like that bit of background information? We think so. And it's a way of setting the scene and getting you ready for analysis. We also do uh, a thing called ben uh, basket of climates. If you are in Kazakhstan, how is Kazakhstan um, performing in relation to places that you do know? On here, we've got Abu Dhabi show, and there's a green line. I don't know if it comes, comes out. Uh, where's that one? Kind of here, that's Abu Dhabi. And as it turns out, Abu Dhabi is very like Miami. And if, say, you're an American architect, you could actually use a similar approach to the one you used in Miami. It sets the scene, it gets you ready for, a, for the, the meat of the analysis that comes later. Water usage can I use black water? Can I use grey water? Can I use rainwater? And if I do, how good are those technologies? Low and zero carbon technologies. Of the ones that are available to me, which one is the most appropriate? If I have a limited budget, which we do, which one do you choose before another? It ranks them in the order uh, of, of appropriateness for the building, taking account of the climate resource that's available to you. Gaia also does your lead credits for you too. So you can come out of the back of doing some general holistic sustainable analysis and then actually find out what your point score is for the credits because more and more you know, Briam Excellent and uh, a, a lead gold and silver all those kind of things are becoming important thank you um, for the people that are uh, uh, selling the building 
Let me talk about Pro's new features quickly. I'm running out of time. Uh, we've uh, uh, enhanced the uh, uh, HVAC side of things to be able to do uh, ASHRAE 90.1, that's lead energy modelling. Uh, we have automated the process of doing the performance rating methodology. We know our um, uh, national calculation methodology approach for the UK, very similar approach. Uh, we've brought in something called uh, multiplex detailed HVAC modelling technique. It enables you to uh, model uh, a thousand rooms uh, in, a, in a building in, uh, with one description of a system rather than a thousand descriptions of a system and anybody that currently uses our software will be very happy with that. We uh, uh, have new chiller models, um, that's part and parcel of uh, ASHRAE 9.1 to enable you to do lead energy modelling. Let me just have a quick look at the VE Pro just to remind you guys about the things that we do. Um, Pro is all about the detail. It's about, after you've gone through the concepts, about describing um, the technologies or the approaches that you've used in order to make this building perform. There are examples of output that we can show, particularly like as the, um, as the, the natural ventilation one, where you show the arrows on a building and how the natural ventilation works as the results of analysis, not as magic arrows that we sometimes see on diagrams where we're describing how a building works. I'm going to round up really quickly now. We do all of the UK um, um, uh, approaches to compliance and energy performance certificates. Um, we do a, a lot of work um, helping people build uh, uh, excellent buildings. And there's an example of three uh, in the UK. Uh, we do a lot around the world too. And you could too. I mean, what I'm really trying to say is not we're good at doing stuff with our software that you too can be good at doing. Um, lead analysis in this case, or um, Greenstar, the Australian and South African uh, regulatory routes. Um, and also, uh, I really like this because we, we always think you, 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 you think yourself um, that your company is the best in the world, you would do, um, but people are starting to um, maybe agree with us. And this is an article written by Jerry Lazarin. Uh, we recently won the Scottish Software Awards. We're in the top 100 clean tech companies in the UK as well, um, based on a, a survey by The Guardian. Um, an example of some of our customers. And I'll leave you with this. And this is the thing that we think is kind of crucial, really. Um, and this is what we've all been about for an awful long time now. Um, we, we can't make buildings better if we can't figure out how we're going to make them better. Um, and if you can't measure it, you can't improve it. And that's what we're all about. Our software extending throughout the process from architects right at the very beginning to design and completion at the end in order that there's a joined up design workflow to get in the end better buildings, which we're all interested in, of course. And um, thank you. Okay, we have time for maybe one or maximum two questions. We do that regularly, actually. Um, we've just been involved in a project with um, Walmart in the States, so you'll be familiar with. Um, we helped them design their uh, high energy efficiency stores, um, and what we did there was took uh, their data about how their buildings perform and how they fit together. We uh, then modeled it to see how close we were to their, their um, energy bills. Uh, we were within 5%, um, which we thought was rather good. Um, we checked it, and then we got within 3%. Um, so we then monitored after the event how the changes that we um, described and, and worked with with the design team, uh, whether that actually made a difference, it did. And we're getting very good correlation. So yes, we are doing it.